Hello. One of the important things that it is desirable to carry out in the fall in the garden area is washing and disinfecting the greenhouse. Dirt and bacteria that have settled on the surface of the greenhouse are a negative factor for future use. In this short video, I will tell you about my experience as I wash and disinfect the greenhouse, and to keep abreast of my new videos, subscribe to the channel, so let's continue. The first thing to do is to wash the polycarbonate from dirt, greenery and rot. In my case, one greenhouse is completely made of polycarbonate, and the second, combined, its walls are covered with reinforced polyethylene, and the roof is covered with cellular polycarbonate. I clean both greenhouses in the same way, for which I use a high-pressure washer, thanks to which all the dirt flies off the walls perfectly. Polycarbonate has a limited lifespan, and no matter how good the ultraviolet protection it has, plastic becomes more fragile every year. Therefore, before using the pressure washer to wash the greenhouse, I first spray on a small area of polycarbonate on the sunny side. I see how the plastic withstands the powerful pressure of water, and having already seen that everything is fine, I wash the entire remaining area. First of all, I just douse the greenhouse with water, letting the dirt get wet. After letting the greenhouse stand in a damp state, after a while, wash the outer walls and roof using a nozzle with a sponge. After which, I wash the inside of the greenhouse again. Soaked dirt already lags well even without the use of additional detergents. Next, I process the inner walls and roof of the greenhouse with a chlorine-containing agent that includes sodium hypochlorite. I dilute the product in half with water. Thanks to the chlorine-containing product, disinfection takes place and at the same time additional washing of the internal walls. I will say right away that I thought for a long time how to wash the greenhouse inside so that it would be effective in terms of cleaning polycarbonate, and also, I needed high disinfecting properties. And of course, the selected agent should be neutral to cellular polycarbonate. Nothing better, a solution containing sodium hypochlorite for cleaning the greenhouse just did not come to mind. Chlorine-containing solutions are used to disinfect even drinking water, and after a while chlorine tends to erode and become safe for the environment. The main condition for working with chlorine-containing products is safety. It is necessary to provide protection for the eyes and respiratory organs, for this I used a regular gas mask. And more. Such a product leaves white spots on clothes, so new things should still be taken care of. I applied the product with an ordinary garden spray. After processing, after 2 to 3 hours, I finally rinse the greenhouse again, then dry it by opening all the windows and doors. After this treatment, the walls and roof of the greenhouse become much cleaner. A chlorine-containing agent effectively has a beneficial effect not only on the greenhouse itself, but also on the soil, which contains quite a few diseases and pests, well, not now about disinfection of the soil, since this is a separate topic with its own nuances and subtleties. That's all, subscribe to my channel, like it and see you soon.